Alright guys, welcome back to Spellbound Caves. Um, this is episode 3 I believe now. Um, and today we will be looking to finish this cave that I started in the prior episode. See what different sharpness one makes. Makes a crit, just two two hits for a creeper. Two hit kill. So, uh, brought my bone meal with me by mistake there. Um, So in the prior episode, we did everything up to here, and then I had to stop, because things were getting a bit out of control. And it seems that nothing has despawned in here, there's still a ton of creepers in here. Because I believe this area is at near enough max spawn. Let's see if I can get that zombie from through this corner I, I can't see this working to be honest Oh my god, no, this isn't going to work. I think we're going to have to do it a little differently. And I, as I said, I don't like to tunnel, but I'm not going to ever get anywhere at this rate. So I want to be far enough back so that... I just hope none of this is silverfish. I just want to be far enough back, I never finished that sentence, so that mobs can't reach me or creepers don't want to blow up. I'm sure that's such a wise idea. Oh god. So there's something there. Maybe that's where we need to go, I don't know. Ah, there's a spawner. Did that blow a hole in the wall? No, but it's still mental in there, either way. Let's put a hole there. So let's block this off. I don't like to do this, but... Sometimes you just have to. So this looks like... Okay, there's the fleecy box. And this is the hallway lights look by the looks of it. Oh darn. Ah, that's what they're stepping on. So this was the hallway. Oh wait, it's down there. I don't know what I've been blocking off. Get out of here. Why can't I place that there? Alright, well this is going to be hard. Very hard to do right. So why don't we come across here? I just want to get a, a better understanding of what's around here. I really don't want to use the smite sword. Oh no. I'm gonna waste that. Maybe coming in backwards might be the answer. Well, that's blocked all them out. Oh, there's more behind here. Oh, I use a smite sword on these. Let's just let's just turn these guys off for a minute. So we've got the fleecy box there. So I've worked that out. Let's get rid of this. I don't know what this is doing here. What do they have in them? Nothing. I bet they did have something in them and monsters stepping on them broke it. So we have a spider, a lot of zombies. 
back here. There has to be a lot of spawners back there for sure. Could if I take that down, could they re reach me through here? No, because that's the stairwell. So let's do this. Oh, I killed the bat by accident. Can I put another torch up there? Just as a start. I see that skelly with the enchanted bow. That's what I'm worried about. Are you coming down here to fight now? I don't want to let a million and one things in. That's the problem. No, you're staying out. You are staying out of here. You are not welcome at this party. There's the skelly with the enchanted bow. Oh, they can just climb over that. That's what's blocking that. I'm not sure what's blocking that. They can't get in now, at least. Let's build some proper stairs. Bring that torch up high. I don't, this is a really awkward way of doing this. It looks like there's two rooms there that are producing all these monsters. Ah, uh, yeah, they keep coming from in there. I bet you there's spawners in there. Why am I wasting that on a zombie? You. Right, well, let's cut off their passage that way. Right, so they're blocked off from that room. All these darn bats flying around. How many arrows have I got? Just the five. We use that to wipe out the skelly, I guess. Can I use this to... Clearly not. There seems to be a large room there. And that's not the ideal way to tackle it. Am I out of stone? No, I have some of this m mossy stuff. Let's stand on that. What's through here? We have a lot of monsters. They're teaming out of that room. Let's see if I can just... No, there's no way I'm ever going to get any light in there. Right, let's dig this one out. Oh, hey, gold armored zombie. How you doing? Let's clear this out. Right, well now we've got some light on in here. That's a start. That creeper's gone right to that corner. Huh. So that appears to be a zombie spawner. This is really challenging. For the first dungeon, I'm surprised. Can that block some of it off or at least give them an obstacle? 
No, don't blow up. What's he gone in there for? No, I, I'm trying to... Right, there's the zombie spawner. I knew there had to be a spawner in here somewhere. Is it just one? No way is that just one. Can't be. With the amount of monsters I've had to face, that can't just be one. Mind if I put some light down around your spawner? Is that seriously just one? Right, I've got some skeletons in here. Um, Alright then. Um, I'm at this little counter window here. <laughs> um, can, some, can somebody get me some items, please? <laughs> um, I know it's a bit chaotic nowadays, isn't it? Um, what's that you got there? You got some horse meat? <laughs> Oh dear, if you're from the UK, you'll know what that is. You can take your horse meat back where you came from. I want to eat that. I think that's mostly turned the spawner off now. I see a creeper right there. Who is he even shooting? Trade this for my good sword. No, 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 no. No, you do not do that. Oh, that's what's going on in there. Get out of here. Well, that seems like this room is pretty much clear. I'm also going to trade my pick as well. For a slightly better one. What's that in there? All the skellies in the world ever. Well, they can squabble amongst themselves there. Let's make sure that this one is fully taken down first. Now we can pull this down. There we go. Let's get rid of this. Let's get some arrows, arrows, torches in there. If we can. See that creeper over there. go. Alright, we're out of arrows now. Um, this place is a pin cushion. Can I shut off the spawning? Get out of here. I don't really have enough torches. Do I have enough materials to make any? Yes. Right, eight sticks. Coal. Torches. Bam. Right, well that's everything. Um, I am surprised that that was just from two spawners. I don't know what caused all of that, but... Man, that was hard for two spawners. Um, along with this pretty rubbish gear. Nobody left in here then. Right, let's clear this out. Get rid of all the blocks that we've managed to place everywhere. And clean this mess up that we have left behind. So let's clear this up. I guess that they were spawning and then moving out as I was trying to kill them. Alright, well... Whatever it was, we've we've beaten it now. And that took a lot of time. But at least now we have infinite bones and infinite 
arrows, infinite zombie flash. So we're pretty good to go. Probably make some falling traps. Is there anything behind these? Doesn't look that way. So let's get that. Alright, so this is the wool box. Presume that this is the white wool. Yeah, white wool. So we got that. Alright, well, what I would like to do now, I guess, is... Um, well, they've even got their own pre-rooms carved out for them as well, which is going to be really handy. Um, I'll make a grinder out of this, I think, next. Um, that's what we'll do next episode. And I think we'll build ourselves a house as well. After all this stress, I need a rest. Build myself a house, where that Sonote building is. We'll make that into a proper home. So let's pick up this chest. I want to make sure I've got every single chest apart from the wool chest in the in the building here. Let's just block this off. Um, blah. Let's put that there. All right. Well, 32 levels. Well, at least I can put 30 on that diamond chest plate. Um, let's take this down. Put a torch up here, that's cool. Um, let's grab this chest. Thirty-two levels. Um, oh yeah, I want to take this as well. Can I get all of that in? Spider eyes, cactus, can I get all of this in? No, it looks like I'm going to have to make another trip for that. But that's alright, um, I can make another trip for that. How much? Oh, I've got so many bones. Where did you come from? I guess it was down here. It's always skeletons. Is it night time outside? No, I don't think so. Just a lot of monsters together. Well, let's, let's heal up here. Um, at least now I can get a proper enchant on that diamond chest plate. Hello, Grouper. Plus, I can also actually get infinite experience, which means infinite enchants as well. So I can get some really high-powered bows. Oops. We'll hightail it out of here. What is it with all the armoured enemies? Never mind, I guess. Alright, now we're in here. Let's sort out a little. I have all this stuff. I have some more chests, so I can start dumping some things off. Like all of this. Let's put you away. All of this stuff needs to go away. Oh, I got a record. Did not see that. The lovely piece of wool that we have. Sand. Sand's going to be handy. A lot of rotten flesh. Another chest. Coal. The bed. Now, I want to take that diamond chest plate with me and do the level 30 on camera. Whoops, give me that. I'm not going to wear it yet, but... And of course, there has to be darn creepers everywhere. i just got to hope for something good. All the mobs in the world are here now. So let's get rid of you. Get out of here.
Well, that's that's him out of the way. Hmm. Oh, he dropped his chest plate, and it's almost fully repaired. We could actually put a level 30 on that one as well. I don't know if he's angry at me or not. I don't think so. Oh, and he dropped his magic bow. What's that got on it? Power 2. That's actually really good. I could, oh, I can't combine it, though, with uh, an anvil. Oh, yeah, I uh, put torches up in here, didn't I? Let's take these off. Let's put you in here, level 30. Mm, uh, that's Well, at least it uh, protects very well against the nicest enemies, but thorns, that means it's going to break faster. Um, darn. I've got that golden one, though. Um, but yeah, power 2. Not bad. I can also take the remainder of this now as well, while I'm here. But what I can do now is, even though there is only stone tools, I can put level 30s on them. And they'll be pretty good, even for stone. Um, with that grinder, I have two spawners now. I like to use these half slabs as well. So in the next episode, we'll probably build that grinder. And um, I'd also like to uh, build a little house. Because we have all that sand now. And I'm not going to need that much of it to farm cacti, for sure. Here we go. 48 stone slabs. Pretty good going. Do like the armoured monster drops, though. It's not dark yet. That's good to know. Alright, so I think we've pretty much done everything I wanted to in this episode. We recovered the white wool, um, and we defeated that other place. Um, we got the diamond chest plate enchanted. Let's put those away. I'm going to save that until I've got enough iron for an anvil, and then we'll see where we go from there. Um, so in the next episode, I think we're going to have an episode off from dungeon crawling and we're going to build a house and sort out that grinder for the um, two uh, zombie and skeletons. It's just going to be a basic fall trap, nothing fancy. Um, I have a lot of glass now. I have somewhat some access to uh, infinite stone. What I would really like though is um, you know, I do have infinite coal, don't I, through charcoal. I was going to make some stone bricks, um, and we'll clean this area up as well. Hopefully I might even get a silk touch stone pick. Um, I could tidy some of this area up. Who knows, but uh, definitely be worth it, I think. So, um, yeah. Until next time, guys, see you later, and have a good day.